the first thing we're going to do is acknowledge what's going on for us, what we're feeling, what we're experiencing. And so just allowing ourselves to notice, you know, what are the thoughts that we're having right now, the feelings, the sensations, what's the memories that might be coming up or the urges. Not judging anything, just acknowledging whatever's going on inside you right now. It's perfectly okay, it's perfectly welcome. Just acknowledging what it is to be you right in this moment. All of the thinking that's going on inside you. Now I'm going to invite you to calm into your body. And so there's all these thoughts, all these feelings, all these difficult emotions, but we, we can move our arms, maybe shrug your shoulders. You can see that there's a part of you that's noticing what's going on and you still have movement and agency. You still have control over your physical actions. We're not trying to distract ourselves from what's going on inside us, just not acknowledging that we can have these two things going on simultaneously, our inner experience, and we can move our hands around perhaps, or push our feet into the floor if that feels comfortable. And now I'd love you to expand and engage your awareness. Have a look around and see Name out loud five things you can see. I'm going to label out mine for you. So I can see a small tree, a fern, a green lamp, a glasses case, a drink. And what can I hear? What can you hear? I can hear the birds outside. I can hear the fan of my laptop. What else can you hear? You can hear the sound of my voice right now? And perhaps what can you smell? Mm. I baked bread recently, I can still smell that in the air. Perhaps you can smell flowers or grass, or perhaps nothing at all. And then what can we taste? The one thing that we can taste, perhaps the toothpaste from brushing our teeth or whatever we last ate. Now I'm going to bring you back into acknowledging what's going on inside us. It may be the same, it may have shifted, that's, that's not what this is about. It's just about acknowledging what's going on inside us. Back into what, you know, what are the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, the sensations, the memories, the urges. And again, connecting back to your body, you know, perhaps wiggling your fingers and again still with our inner experience but also acknowledging that we have connection outside of that we are in a body and just noticing that there's a part of us noticing our thoughts feelings and emotions and this physical movement and again asking you to engage with the world it takes us out See what we can see so I can see a picture I can see books I can see a lipstick I can see some hand cream and what can I hear now what can you hear now I can hear traffic going past in the distance I can hear my own breath as I breathe in and out and what can I smell what can we taste? And again, this last round now, I won't describe my things, but just acknowledging being gentle, loving witness, like a, like a scientist, gathering data, what's going on inside us, any tightness, any particular ruminations, thoughts, memories, Annoyance, boredom, it's all welcome. 
Now, while still holding and acknowledging all of that, just moving our body, perhaps wiggling our feet, um, shifting in our seat, rolling our shoulders and say, there's our experience and then there's this container for our experience. There's space, there's distance between them. And we are this loving observer of what's going on inside us, this curious observer. And whatever we think, whatever we feel, we still have, we're not stuck, we still have movement, physical presence. And now again, list five things that you can see, different things. And actually, you know, say them out loud if it helps. And then what can you hear? Maybe four things you can hear, or however many there are. And really tune into that. And then what can you smell? What can you taste? And in this way, we can, putting in these cycles there, and do them and continue to do them as, as much as you need to, just taking yourself from your inner experience, recognizing that you have choicefulness in movement in your body. Your body is still here, connecting you back to your body. And then engaging with the world, expanding your awareness out. And in this way, we can just soften what we're going through. Thank you.